All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the H1 headline issue on the Shopify Dawn theme. So if you're trying to do SEO on your Shopify store, you'll obviously know how important H1 tags are. And for some reason, Shopify decided it would be a good idea to make the H1 headline the logo up in the header here. If we click that, you can see here it says H1. And so obviously this is gonna cause SEO issues because if you add an H1 headline onto your homepage, you're still gonna have an issue of now having two H1 headlines and one is an irrelevant logo. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to remove this from being H1 on the logo. And then I'm gonna show you two ways that you can deal with adding an H1 headline onto your homepage. Firstly, we need to remove this code from the logo and the heading. So what you need to do is go into your Shopify admin and go to online store and then go to themes. And we're gonna to need to customize the code. So this is not gonna be a big deal. I'm gonna show you how to do this. So what you need to do is hit the three red dots next to customize and we need to go into edit code. So once we're in here, you need to go to header. You can type that in here, header liquid. And in here is where you're gonna find that code for the logo. So what we need to do is remove the H1. So I'm just gonna go control F and look for H1. And you can see here, now we have div class header heading, and then this is where the logo is. So what we wanna do is we actually wanna change this from H1 to a div. Take that, just remove H1 and put div. And we also wanna find the closing tag, which is here, and just make that a div as well, and then hit save. And so now if we go back to the website, go control F to reload it. And now we inspect the code. We should now see that the H1 is now gone from this logo. And you can see here, there's no H1 now. And if we also do a search, there's only going to be one, which is this headline I added down here. So now we have resolved this and the H1 tag is now removed from this logo. So we no longer have this problem. Now what we need to do is add the H1 headline to the homepage. Now there's two ways you can do this. One way is to do it manually, which I've done here for the purpose of this example. And basically how you would do that is you go back to your admin and you would go to themes and then just go customize. And then on the homepage, what you could do is you just add a custom liquid content section and make sure that you've got H1 tags there for the headline and insert that here or wherever you want it on the page. And that would insert the H1 headline onto the homepage only. So this is the most straightforward way to do it because if we go and take a look at actual products, let's say we open up a product, the main headline is an H1 headline already. So you can see here, that's got an H1 headline there. So doing it this way is the most straightforward way. You just add the H1 headline on the homepage and then this job done. But there's a second way you can do it. We can actually edit the code so that the setting you put for the actual headline shows up as H1, which would be this one right here. So for instance, if you were to go back and go to here and you see how it says heading, this would show up as H1. Now, right now that's showing up as H2. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So what you would need to do is go back into the code settings again, and you'd go edit code. Go into the image dash banner dot liquid file, as you can see here, and then do control F and search for heading. And you will find the section here, class equals banner heading. And what we'll do is change this to H1 and the closing one to H1 as well and hit save. And so now, once we reload this page, we can have a look here and we should see this as an H1, as you can see here. So now we have the H1 there in the banner. So that is the second way you can do it. If you don't wanna add it manually and you wanna add this heading as the H1, you would need to edit that code as well. So that's it. That's the easiest way to fix the H1 heading issue on the Shopify Dawn theme. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you would like me to coach you on how to do either SEO or Google ads for your Shopify store for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. And if you'd like us to do your Google ads or SEO for your Shopify store with guaranteed results, go to dominatemarketing.io, book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.